All right, you got your post viral on LinkedIn or Facebook and people are sending you their emails. You're like a viral star. So what's next? In this video, I'm going to share with you the exact process, step by step, that I use to collect email leads from LinkedIn or Facebook and the email sequence I use to get over 70% open rate and 50% click-through rate on the email I sent to, the, to those leads. So it's a bit technical, but bear with me, it's completely worth it. First of all, uh, I have this Airtable spreadsheet and you can download that spreadsheet from the post. I think it's above this video. You can grab it, just leave your email and grab the spreadsheet. It's like a mini CRM that I'm using with my VA to collect emails. And by the way, if you're thinking of collecting hundreds of emails uh, yourself, please don't do that. It's very stupid. It will take days. Just hire a VA. It would cost you like five bucks an hour and it will save you dozens, if not hundreds of hours. So this is the spreadsheet we use uh, with my VA to collect emails. And apart from the regular stuff like uh, the person's data, like first name and uh, last name and email, there's also this bit here, which is the interesting part, uh, and this is the status of the person. And we use status to make sure nobody, to make sure everybody gets the lead and we don't miss anybody. So there are a few statuses, invite send, when uh, the lead has invited, uh, sorry, when my VA has invited the lead on, on LinkedIn, we need to invite them to send them a DM, follow up when the VA has followed up with the lead, email received when the VA has collected the email from LinkedIn or Facebook and recorded it in here, uh, in this uh, Airtable spreadsheet. And guide send, this is the status I use when I send uh, the guide to the leads. And thanks to the Airtable views feature, I'm able to filter um, only only the leads that have, uh, you know, we have only the leads marked as email received, or in other words, the leads I need to send the guide to. So we have collected the emails here, but I haven't sent the guide to these leads yet. So my job, my job from here is to to export these leads. Click on the three buttons, three dots here. Click on download CSV. Uh, Airtable will make. A uh, a CSV file of this view only, so these are the leads I need to send the email to. And the next bit is I'm going to go uh, into uh, and charge, this is in charge.io. It's currently in uh, closed beta, you can register for early access. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here is actually import, I'm just going to drag my face over here so it doesn't get in the way. The first thing is to import that spreadsheet, go to the People's tab, uh, because this is where you import people, click on Import Spreadsheet, choose the file, choose the file from their table, the exported CSV file, and you can see here 52, uh, 52 leads. The next step is to map the fields, just map first, last name, email, and you can map the rest of the fields, but I don't need this right now. And the next step is really, really important. We have to tag these leads. And I'm going to use a unique tag. It's, uh, let me see, what was it? It was free tools to AI leads. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Uh, just make sure to tag these leads because we're going to use that tag to create a segment out of these leads. So once you tag them, just click on continue. I'm not going to do that right now because I've already imported these, so I don't need to import them twice. But going back to the uh, to the people tab, uh, you can create a new segment, name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to use example because I'm going to delete that segment in a bit. Click on show filters and click on add filter tag, yes, tag, and then select the name of the tag. So free tools, tool, LI, leads. So all people that have data, create a segment with all of the people that have that tag. 
and this will this will return uh, this will return your the people that you just recently imported because you already tagged them using that exact same tag and every time you import and use the same tag um, when you import people will go into that segment automatically this is really crucial this will create a segment out of that tag and every time you import future leads and this will happen trust me because with engagement posts uh, they go viral and you may get like 100 or 200 leads the first day the second day you may want you may get like another batch of 200 people and you don't want to get you don't want to make people wait so you have to send the first email you have to send the the, the lead map that their way you have to make sure they they download the lead magnet the ebook spreadsheet or whatever you're offering in your post ASAP so you so you make you gotta make sure you don't make these people wait just create that segment from attack and create the flow with that segment so that's the next bit that's the next important bit in in charge create a flow click on create new flow I'm just going to show the exact flow I created and this is the flow that got 70 over 70% 70 open rates and over 50% click through rates and there are a few bits here in that flow the first bit is the trigger every flow starts with a trigger and the trigger we have here is entered segment so every time a person gets enters that segment entered, enters the segment that I just recently created in a previous bit uh, every time a person gets into that segment we're going to send them the first email then we're going to wait for three days and then we're going to send the exact same mail, email with a different subject line to the people that have not opened the first email so let's look into details first of all we have uh, the enter segment trigger uh, you select the exact segment and every time you import new people and tag them with that tag they will get into that segment and once they get into that segment they will get into that flow so it's really as simple as that you you export you exp oh, sorry you export leads from your Airtable spreadsheet you export the leads email receive leads then you import them in in charge making sure to add the exact same tag they will enter the segment once they enter the segment they will get into the flow so you don't have to create a separate list you don't have to uh, send you know separate emails it's a marketing automation flow it's completely automated you only have to import the leads and make sure they get the tag so the first bit is to send the email and this is the email I'm sending it's uh, and I have to pause this flow in order to edit that email so I'm gonna do that uh, just for a little bit Okay, so I'm gonna edit that email and this is the email I'm sending these leads and this email has a few goals first of all uh, it needs to be opened second of all it needs to be clicked through so people have to click and download your lead magnet third and very very important part is to introduce yourself and the fourth bit is to let these people know that you're going to send them future emails so you don't get a lot of unsubscribes make sure that um, you will provide additional value after the first email so this is basically letting them know that they just got in your email list and I know some of you might be concerned about the GDPR and if you want you can put this one step further and include something like uh, look if you want to get further email from me just re hit reply to this email and let me know and only subscribe the people that um, you know reply to that email but that's that's additional effort and not only it's additional effort but a lot of the people would not reply so it's, it kind of sucks to be honest and uh, probably won't get that many leads from it but anyway going back to the email this is the email I'm using hey person first name it's Kalo, you know, it's Kalo from LinkedIn I'm using my full name because people uh, some of the people may not know me as Kalo on LinkedIn I, I'm using my full name click here to get the list uh, this is a very straightforward link to the to the list of the lead magnet that I have promised 
and then I'm I'm giving them an introduction of myself. I'm a marketer. I'm a founder of Soon to Launch Marketing Automation Tool. Sorry, named in charge. Uh, and you can skip that bit. This is very. I wouldn't do that actually. It's uh, you know I'm telling them about the beta and how they can get access to the beta, but it, it didn't work very well. It's like including a second CTA in the, in the, your email. Make sure to get just have one single CTA in your email. Don't include that bit. And uh, the second bit is I'm very transparent about uh, the way uh, I'm growing in charge. Uh, my growth strategy with in charge is to provide as much value as it could. I put this the lead magnet, the list of free tools to help marketers and entrepreneurs like you be better at what they do. That way I'm building a tribe of people who are focused on growth. And then I'm letting them know that I'm going to send future emails. In the following weeks I'm going to send you more emails with content and resources for growth marketers, free guys, etc. And at the, uh, the bottom here I'm giving them an opt-out opportunity. So, if you don't want to receive any more emails, please unsubscribe right now. I don't want to have you on my list if you don't want to hear from me. Because this is bad for me. I don't want to get spam reports. I don't want to get low open rates. So, actually, I'm asking people to unsubscribe here. It, I mean, if you if you just want the free guide or the free lead mine, that's totally fine with me. Just grab it, use the link, download it, and unsubscribe. That's completely fine with me. And interestingly enough, the unsubscribe rates uh, to this email is just 0.5%. I got only three people to unsubscribe from this email. And the open rate here is 59%. So almost 60%. And because I'm sending a second follow-up email to the people that have not um, opened the first email, so because this is how the flow works, so this is the second. I'm using a filter step to send. So I'm using. I'm waiting for three days. Then I'm using a filter step. Filter step is basically uh, buckets. Uh, um, you know, filters people into buckets, and I'm, I'm filtering only the people that have not opened the first email. So I'm using check email filter. I'm using check email filter, and I'm uh, that is connected on not opened. So. I'm connecting that filter with not opened and this will send the second email only to the people that have not opened the first email and a second email I'm getting an additional 23% unique opens and in total uh, I'm getting over 70% open rate and over 50% click through rate hope this makes sense guys if it doesn't make sense uh, let me know, comment under the need, comment under the article, or send me an email at kloddencharge.io and let me know what you think about this. And yeah, looking forward to sending you more guides very soon.